Hello and welcome to the video. You probably want to record your game through your screen somehow and you're trying to find the best screen recorder for that. Instead of downloading a different software for recording your screen, you have already installed your, uh, if you have a NVIDIA graphic card and you have GeForce Experience installed. Uh, you probably heard about Shadow Play already, but if you don't, now you did. But you're wondering how to record with Shadowplay, where to find it, how to set it up. So that's what I'm going to show you today. As I said, first you need to have an NVIDIA graphic card and NVIDIA GeForce Experience installed. For the AMD users, there's probably other software. I think it's AMD Real Life, I think. I'm not sure. But today we're gonna focus on NVIDIA. So let's start. Okay, so first of all, as I said, you need to have NVIDIA graphic cards and GeForce Experience installed. If you don't, go to GeForce Experience and download that software, install it and then run it. Now, let's run it and this window will open up here. So, to go to the in-game overlay or shadow play and to set it up, we need to go to this little button which says settings go there and now first of all you can see your rig here all your system information next we have your features here here is the old game overlay that's what we are going to focus today and you have your in-game overlay here i think when you first install it this is going to be off so you can use it if it's off just turn it on here and that's it uh, but first, let's take a look at the requirements. So you're gonna click here, go down, and these are the minimum requirements for you to record your screen. So uh, yeah, this is the minimum so you can run your recorder smoothly. So if you have these settings or higher, you're good to go. Now close this and let's go to in-game overland and click settings. So you're gonna be here in the GeForce experience. So let's start from left to right. First of all, we have screenshot and this will capture uh, your screen and store the photos in the gallery. Photo mode is used for mostly for sports games uh, to capture in-game pictures. Next one we have instant reply is a feature that will record 20 minutes of your screen time. So uh, for me, it's always off. I don't usually uh, use this one, but if you want, you can turn it on and you have settings for that, which I will show you uh, later. Next up, we have record. Uh, you can see that I'm already recording with the NVIDIA Shadow Play. If we click here, we can stop and uh, save. If I'm not recording, I will have start and stop. Uh, you have share so you can directly share it after you record it to social media and you have settings here uh, which we're gonna go later uh, next up we have broadcast live this is for streaming uh, i will show you the settings later and how to set it up uh, in the top right corner we have gallery uh, this is where your recordings and photos are are saved uh, here we have the microphone, we have three options for the microphone, we have push to talk so you can push a button and use the microphone. Always on is uh, when you hit record your Microsoft microphone will be always on and recording and you have off. Next we have the camera here, if you have any external camera you can set it and put it on and you can record yourself uh, while rec you're recording your screen. And at the end we have the settings. So let's go and click on this one here. Now we have the settings. The first setting is connect. If you click here, you can see uh, different social medias here. So this is basically allowing you to connect your GeForce Experience account to uh, all these different social media accounts. I don't have them connected. If you want, you can connect it. You, of course, you can connect Twitch if you want to stream. And that's basically it. Let's go back and let's go to HUD layout. Uh, here we have 
uh, the placement of certain items on your screen. Uh, you can choose the position, let's say status indicator, you can put it uh, left top, right top, uh, right bottom or left bottom or you can just turn it off. For me every one of these are turned off because I don't want any indicators on my screen while I'm recording. So yeah, that's basically it. Let's go back and let's go to keyboard shortcuts. We have the shortcuts available here. Uh, if you want, if you don't want to open the in-game overlay all the time, you can just uh, use this, and that's basically it. You can also change them by clicking on them and clicking any other combination you want. Uh, I don't usually touch them, and yeah. If you touch it and you want to go back and you don't remember it, you can just go and uh, click reset to defaults and that's it. Now let's go back and let's go to recordings. So here you have the folders where your temporary files and your videos are going to be stored. I can't really change it right now because I am recording at the moment, but if you want to change it, just click on these three dots and you can change the location to wherever you want. Let's go back and let's go to broadcast live. So now this is the important part if you want to stream. So uh, you can set your destination where you want to stream. Uh, there are three options. You have Facebook, Twitch and YouTube. You can choose uh, where you want to stream. Uh, next you have the quality here. You have the three presets here, low, medium and high or you can make it custom and you can change uh, your resolution, uh, bitrate uh, and yeah, you can also add custom overlays and you have the ingest server, choose the closest server to you, that's the best option if you want to stream and that's basically it. Now let's go back and we're gonna go and skip these two because you're probably not gonna use any of this and let's go to audio. So in audio you can set your microphone, if you have more, more microphones connected, you can choose which one. Uh, also you have the volume and the boost here, uh, you can change them, but I don't recommend this, just leave it how it is, unless you need to, and yeah, that's basically it. Let's go back, let's go down, and we have the video capture here, this one is for the instant reply. Uh, as we talked uh, before, uh, so it's the same as recording, you can set it, uh, if you put it on, this all settings will be available for you, uh, you can choose instant replay length, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes or 20 minutes, you can choose the quality here, uh, it's the same settings, you can choose any of these uh, presets, low, medium, high or you can just put it on custom and you can set everything up. Let's go back. And that's basically it, uh, we are not going to touch any of this. So yeah, click done and we are done. So instead of downloading external softwares, you can use your already installed Shadow Play. Uh, it has the best quality and it has the, the best uh, and the easiest settings to learn. Uh, it's also best when it comes to FPS, it's not losing that much FPS you are, uh, when you are recording, it's barely noticeable, uh, it's almost like you, you're not using any, any software. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you start using uh, Shadowplay and G4 Experience from now on. So if you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Peace.